what's up y'all i got a family to feed so let's get into this tea now before we get into this video i want y'all to know that i've reacted to Corey's lives um uh, when he was going through his little situation with carmen i reacted to Carmen video i reacted to Corey video look at it on the patreon the reason why i'm telling y'all that is because on the patreon we were sitting there telling maddie don't get with this nigga don't talk to this nigga do not have any dealings with this man don't do it i'm telling you <laughs> and maddie anyway uh he hasn't done it to me yet so i think we're good no honey he just you did you didn't give him time men show themselves with time you know in the beginning they kind of like gas like they want to keep you for a little while you gave him somewhere to sleep okay um y'all know you know he done lost houses and uh, gave up apartments just everything that don't mean he can't get another place because i ain't over here with great credit and i i got a great place to rent you know what i'm saying so i'm not saying he about to be homeless out here what i'm saying is you let him kick it with you temporarily he knew it was gonna be temporarily but not only did he he knew we knew honey and we told you maddie we told you i just couldn't believe when maddie was like he hasn't done this to me yet so yet why would we let him do it then this fool got him tatted on her oh i would never ever ever understand okay now i know this is not gonna be much because maddie i don't know maddie do not be getting that point across i don't know what be going on with her not getting her point across so this ain't gonna be much but i promise you the more y'all pick with her and i'm not telling you to pick with her now leave her alone <laughs> but y'all gonna do what y'all want anyway so the more you do it she gonna get to spilling them beans okay so let's get into it girl gotta have the damn thing on the screen all right uh, let me get a ah uh, okay so Carmen recently posted up some new pictures and people noticed that she has a new tattoo on her wrist that says John. Now allegedly Carmen has been seen with Big Boogie and people are saying that this is her new quote unquote boo. So people are putting two and two together that possibly 27. Not only is she dating him, but she tatted his name. Now the Shade Room teens did post a story. Someone said Carmen needs to go heal. She is not ready for a relationship. Carmen tatted his name too? Yo, what, what is going on with you heteros out here? Like, for real. This is a gay people thing. <laughs> and not, none of the gays can get offended because that's what, that's what gays do. We fall in love immediately, especially women. Girl, all this, um, girl, what we got? They got testosterone, what we got? <laughs> I can't think of it right now. Ooh, y'all get so mad when I troll and be like, oh my God, she couldn't even think of estrogen. Shut up. It's a joke. But anyway, I know it's estrogen. Y'all, girl, all that estrogen going around, all that love making and sensualness, sensualness. I know I made it up. Baby, it'd be good. It'd be so good. So I understand why we be tripping. But the testosterone in you, Igors, okay? It's not supposed to allow you to do that. Not saying that y'all don't have a heart. Oh, my God, here we go. Not saying that you don't have a heart. Not saying that uh, you can't fall in love fast. Blah, blah, blah. I'm saying that you shouldn't. Because <laughs> the testosterone is supposed to I'd be like, hold up for a second. Oh, hey, hold up. <sighs> Girl, anyway. That was a mess. She's too quick to get somebody tatted. The name tatted immediately, no. Child, the females don't know how to be alone. Like, go ahead and focus on yourself, mama. Carmen did respond to the post. She said, y'all have too much free time. And Big Boogie responded also. He said, man, if y'all don't go on, y'all leave y'all comments down. And clearly, I wasn't talking about Big Boogie getting a tattoo. Carmen got the tattoo, but Corey got a tattoo with Maddie name on it. 
Comment below, let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. Corey and Maddie are done for good according to Maddie. She went live and said that she is done with Corey. He packed up his stuff. He moved back to Alabama. That she regret being with him and that she wish she would have listened to the supporters. Listen. What I, the shit that got me like this is the like, the thing like when I, when I go live, see, I'm not like him and all that. No, no. When I, when I do shit like this, oh yeah, I'm standing on it because it's embarrassing as fuck if I go back type shit. Um... But I dug and 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 I dug. What did you dug? What did you dug? Okay, what were we dugging? I dug and I, what was she dugging? Cause something was just like, no. Nah. Me though, like you do me like this. Did you see the way he did his sister? Oh, hold on, hold on, my fault. Did you see the way he did his wife online as you sat there and second that shit? He showed his wife's, AKA his son's mother's body to the internet, her body. But naked. <laughs> None of us asked for that. Nobody was like, oh, hey, Corey, uh, excuse me. Can you send a, no, nigga. He just out here doing reckless, ridiculous, giving half-ass apologies and shit. And you talking about, you know. <laughs> I'm, that's hilarious. Me. Like, I ain't. I we like you ain't like i understand you know what i'm saying we was in here for was a year and two years and motherfuckers you know fucked up shit was hard shit was rough like yeah we you know we argued y'all like for sure any couple was gonna argue but most of our issues came from him and his past like because you decided to fuck with a nigga who was literally living in the moment of his depression and of his past per se i mean hell they still married we still gotta get divorced <laughs> like almost every issue has something to do with him and his past <sighs> and the social media shit right here <laughs> so it's like nothing i didn't bring <clears throat> i didn't bleed on you i didn't bring my trauma on you i brought love i brought patience i brought kindness to you of course, sometimes he had me all the way fucked up. Man, I'm such a dumbass, bro. That's it. That's just it right there. Like, I don't really have, like, nothing else to that part. Like, I have to own that. I got to take accountability. I can't blame nobody else. Like, you can't. I can't blame him, bro. I'm the dumb. Like, you gave more than you got. And you trust, like... It, it's gotta, this has got to be a dream because can you imagine, like, experiencing a person? I know this man has a big heart. I know this man loves heart. Hold on. I have to interrupt you, hon. <clears throat> Corey gives with the intention of maybe not receiving something back, but with the intention of you going to do what I tell you, though. Like, <clears throat> y'all know me. When I used to give things and I brought it up, it's because you got me fucked up. Don't let me look out for you in a whole nother way. And I did. I led with my heart with that, whatever I gifted a person, gave whatever. But when you try to give me your ass to kiss, I got to remind you of the person that I was to you because people don't like to include that. They like to include your flaws, but forget all the good times. It's just the flaws. I don't like that. So, yeah, you got to know. But, see, I stopped giving, so <laughs> let's start there. No more giving this way. So, with that being said, not without it being some reciprocation around this month, Okay. So, with Corey, he gives with 
with intentions. He gives with... Mm, he gives and keeps the receipt so he could take that shit right back the day you not do what he tell you to do. He did the shit with his sister and he definitely did the shit with Carmen and it was no reason for him to do that with Carmen because they made that money together. He thought, yeah, with stipulations, he thought that he could build his sister's house, build on her house or whatever, and he thought he was about to live there and do whatever he wanted to do with the house. He made it very clear, yeah, man, wherever I lay my head, I got to be comfortable. So he redid her house for him. But see, when she realized, okay, goddamn, like, all right, you built on it and I appreciate you, but now you just taking advantage of the fact that you did that? Hell no. So she started to put her foot down because remember, let's not forget, that is her house. That's why his ass had to go. So he did the same with her. She, he, you think he got a big heart because he like, man, you know what I'm going to do for you today? I'm going to take you to the beach. But don't forget he's taking you to the beach because he got to go talk to somebody about a car. It's never for you. It's for him. And that's what he's shown me this whole, all these years of him doing shit. And especially this, this little fallout situation. Yeah, man. I know this man. I, I know like you, you was, you wanted to be a better man that, that I know this, like, there's no fucking way that you sat here while I built you up. Damn. Because let's not forget, he didn't have nowhere to go. Okay? He had to get his money together, I'm sure. Now, he ain't broke. But our broke may not be his broke is what I'm trying to say. Like, he could have, because I don't want y'all to think niggas be zero dollars broke. He could have, like, $100,000. He could have $50,000. He could even have $250,000. But he ain't got the millions like he had at one point. That's what I'm trying to say. But the fact that she said built him up, I'm not going to lie, is hilarious. But what she was trying to do was make him a gentleman that he is not. And you want to know why? His mama approves that bullshit. He can do no wrong. And why I tore myself down in the midst of it. Hmm. She is behooved with this nigga. Because shit not adding up. Because shit not going the way you want to go it. Because shit not really working out for you. You make me the enemy. He made me the enemy. Hurt people, hurt people. So much so. That you push me to a point of feeling worthless. That's how I feel. You understand? Oh, uh, who you talking to, friend? You made me the enemy. And you pushed me to a point to feel worthless. Like, what? How the fuck? Where they do that at, bro? No, no funny shit. Right there in front of you to his wife. <laughs> I don't know how you missed it. I, I don't think it. Did any of y'all miss it? I think we all have been front row of how he has treated Carmen. I mean, all of that was recently, like, just stupidly exposed. And you was right there. Right there. You was right there. Like, <sighs> like I gotta, I gotta, like, like, where the fuck do they do that? Is that some, like, where this from, y'all? Somebody, anybody fucking tell me. Where the fuck is this from? Well, uh... <laughs> like. I'll let the chat do I just, I can't. Can't nobody make you do nothing. Remember that. Facts. One, one, one in the chat. Eleven, eleven. In the Facts. Chat. Can't nobody make you do nothing. He was my. He was right about me coming on here and doing this. He said that I would, but he pushed me to this point. That's one thing that he was right about. He put. You know when somebody pushes you to some shit, it broke my heart. This broke my heart. And I'm shocked that he broke my heart. 
That's it. Like, I ain't even... The thing is, is that, you know what? I was really about to sit here and run this shit by y'all, top to bottom. How does nigga dim me? But you know what? That ain't love. So guess what? It's not supposed to be love. You mad. It was supposed to be revenge. Yeah. Like, you supposed to come on here and air that nigga out. Now, some of y'all will be like, oh my God, you don't need to kick a person while he's down. No, he's the kicker. He kicks women down. That's what he like to do. Corey been on some scandalous shit here lately. That nigga been scamming niggas. <laughs> Doing his wife dirty. Doing his girlfriend dirty. Like, what are you doing? They doing this to promote the video. Promote what video? I don't believe that at all. And to be honest, if they come back and say that, it's because he convinced her to do so. Guaranteed. But she ain't feeling this. You know when somebody's faking. She's not a goddamn YouTuber. It's not even her thing. I ain't even gonna do it. I ain't even gonna do it. I She's an actor. Well, that's true. I ain't even gonna do it. I ain't even gonna do it to him. That's a fact. Because I know that I was solid. I know that my love was real. I forgot she was an actress. Point taken. I know that I was 10 toes behind this nigga, backing this nigga up, all that shit. And so if he decides that he wants to come on social media, because I already saw, which I already, I already overheard the direction he was trying to go in earlier. If he decides that he wants to give it up, if he decides he wants to try to dog me out or make me trying to look some way or make me trying to da da da, if he try me, I'm going to be back on here. That's the only way. If he try me. If he try me. If he fucking try. If he even thinks to try me. I will finish him. I will finish him. That's all I'm going to say. Y'all continue to pray for me. Um... Y'all continue to pray for me because it's, it's taking everything out of me not to fucking clock out. It's taking everything out of me. Y'all don't even know my situation. Y'all don't know how deep I'm in this shit, right? Y'all don't know. It's taking everything out of me not to fucking clock out. I'm fighting for my life right now. And that's why I haven't been on social media. I mean, if you need help, just blink twice. What you mean fighting for your life? I'm fighting for my life right now. And that's why I haven't been on social media. What does that mean? I feel so fucking embarrassing because I'm literally crying on live. And I, I'm I'd be like. why I believe it. <clears throat> Corey was at Lotto's um, a party the other day. Which I was invited to as well. I was not about to go to Cascade. Many bodies at Cascade. Y'all, I got a cuticle for hell. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. I gotta go get my nails done. But anyway, um, ooh, that hurt so bad. He um, he was there by himself, and I'm like, Maddie not there. Oh, they into it. They into it. I knew they was in. There's no reason. Thinking this, you know, when you think some shit like, yeah, nah, like I, I fought for this person. I protected this person. I, I gave to this person. I opened my home to this person. I gave when I didn't have. I loved when I didn't, when I didn't have. I sacrificed when I didn't mm -hmm. have. He over there taking her money. 
And every nobody's perfect. I never expected him to be perfect. But I expect him to be real. Over there, all I ask him for. Fucking money. So the fact that you dragged me through these months. Prifling ass. You now. dragged me all of this shit. All of it. I feel scammed. I feel played with. I feel like I don't even know how this is real. I don't even, I'm thinking it's a whole nightmare. I don't even know how I just even got on. The shit that just, that just happened made me so angry that I turned on this live. Because it's like, I don't want my name to be associated with this man. I don't want y'all to ever associate me with this man. Well. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Um, I think it's real. Uh, if it turns out that it's not, then it's not. But seems real to me. I'm going to treat it like that to further notice. Y'all let me know what y'all thinking uh, down in the comment section below. If it is real, baby, you brought this on yourself. If it's not, you get a goddamn award for this. But love y'all, bye.